Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Last time we finished up Chapter 3, dealt with all of the dark aliens that we encountered so far and cleared out the temples. This time we're back on the airship after some strange scenes in the far plane. Which they still won't let us go into, by the way. <laughs> I still have no idea what He's you're talking about. He's been blubbering about how he couldn't go on living if something were to happen to you. We hadn't heard anything in so long. We tried tossing a comm sphere into the hole, but it didn't help one bit. I blame Shinra hey, for that. It's still in beta. So what happened? Well... Yeah, it's still in beta like every Man, game huh? released these days. Yeah, the girl from the songstress dress sphere. That's Len? Sure. She wore that dress 1,000 years ago. Why didn't you tell us? No one asked. Besides, all I knew was her name. What's to tell? What Fair Shinra point. said surprised me, but only a little. So there really was a connection. Okay, okay. So the reason Shu Yin keeps calling Yuna Len is. Ash shot! Because of that dress sphere? Okay, sorry. I can't really see. I got, I got sure. distracted. Forget Len! Shu Ying's the one who is wanting to vaporize Spira! Yeah, but what can we do? Nuge and Gipple are already planning something. Let them deal with it for now. Okay, so what's our plan? What are we doing? Anyway, the start of chapter four, for some reason, leads to a lot of confusion. You'll notice something. Somebody's missing. Let's go find her. Pain should be on the deck and recording. Uni, Uni. Yeah. Yeah. You met Shuyin, right? Was he anything like you know who? Yeah, he looked like him. Sounded mm. like him too. Not really. Just his face. Okay. What else do you say? You say anything else? You won't talk to me. Okay, fine. Be that way. Why did the audio just desync massively on that? That was weird. Pain should be out on the deck. We need to talk to her to trigger any more scenes, I believe. They gave me these. I've got jugs. I've got melons. What was is that, that old family guy bit? They say anything? No. I see. They're old friends. The three of them were candidates for the Crimson Squad. And I was the recorder assigned to their team. Yevon created the squad and started training members two years ago. It was supposed to be an elite fighting force. The best were to be assigned leadership of Crusader chapters across Spira, but... The squad was destroyed before that happened. Most of the candidates died. An accident. The four of us were separated then. Things happened. I don't get it. I was there. I saw everything. But still, I don't know why it happened that way, even now. So I went to look for some answers. You became a sphere hunter. I always did want to fly on this thing anyway. What you talking about? Or is it another one of those secrets? That's all right. I didn't want to know anyway. Too bad. And I was just about to tell you. Really? Too late now. Uh, weep, Himmo. <laughs> <laughs> we used to laugh like this once. The four of us. I've been chasing my past for so long. Sometimes getting it back is all I can think about. Other times, I just want to forget. 
What about you? Shuyin isn't who you thought, is he? No. Maybe we should both let go of our past and focus more on what's to come. You're not leaving the gull wings! Even if my lips stop moving. Always a possibility. So many things seem intertwined, but nothing leads to you. Why be a sphere hunter if what I'm hunting for can never be found? I like how Yuna doesn't pressure Pain to reveal her secrets and then she reveals them. <laughs> it's kind of a nice change of pace and probably why she kind of closed up a little bit once Riku showed up and wouldn't shut up about it. Well, she wasn't that bad this time. But usually that's the main issue. Next stop is the cabin because we're starting a chapter. Next thing we have to do, we gotta go to sleep. And uh, you actually have limited time to actually do this in uh, this chapter because there's a number of, uh, what can I do well, there's just not a whole lot of free time in chapter four. Ah, uh, you can let me rest. And so we've slept, now let's see. Go talk to Shinra on the bridge is our next uh, person we're supposed to talk to. Up you get, Yuna. There we go. Drop down here, but before doing that, we might as well go collect our uh, treasure in the uh, engine room. Of course, it likes to respawn. I'm wondering who is putting that stuff back in there. Is it brother putting it in there and then putting like spy cameras to spy on Yuna? This is a reason to get her so we can get pictures of her because he's, you know, a creepy bastard. No, stop that. There you go. I have no idea. And the animation still doesn't make any sense. Remedy, high potion, Phoenix down, which I maxed on, Turbo Ether, which I'm not, thank you. At least I got something of value out of that. Go. And now we can head back to the bridge. There we go. From here, we get to talk to Shinra. And that leads me to probably my least favorite part of, well, not my least favorite part of the You're game. You're not leaving us, are you? I may not look it, but I am having a good time. Right, right? <laughs> what about Yuna? Think she'll quit? Of Lankahood! Of course not. Yet fro you got we, Yenret. Think she called him an airhead? Oh. Yeah, there, there's your revelation. She speaks all bad. Yuna! I hate to interrupt, but Spear is falling apart with its leaders missing. Check the comm spheres and see. What? What the fuck? What? See, this happened in my test run too. I only got one Elbed book here. The walkthroughs I've seen claim you're supposed to get three or four. I've never gotten three or four. I don't know if it's something I've done wrong and I have to go back and redo, but it, it, that's just how I've, it's always been with me. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see here believe the next thing we're supposed to do, we could talk to Riku. I don't think there's any plot related thing on you. And yeah, so the other thing Want to check the comm sphere? is Shinra. The comm sphere network is the main point of chapter four, which contains mostly riding on the airship. There is 6.8 percentage points tied up in comm sphere bullshit. You didn't lay them all down, you lose a hundred percent. Let's start. Basically, this is a tedious, I don't know, it's a, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? It's an exercise in patience and moving the camera around to look at people and hope that you get scenes and zooming it in and hope that you get the right scene. Hey, Yuna, how you been, huh? Well, not too bad. 
bed. How are things in Besaid, Waka? It's okay. It's been pretty quiet, yeah? No more fiends in the temple. Really? That's what Becklam says, and he patrols the place every day. He's a dedicated man. Yeah, but he's gonna be leaving the island pretty soon. Youth League's having some trouble or something, so they called him back to headquarters. On top of that, word around here is the new Yevon Prater's gone missing. Not sure what it all means, but things don't look good, yeah? Yeah, it's a bit crazy all over. Listen, I don't know about the rest of Spira, but Besaid's in good shape. I got this place covered. The thing is with it's the comms sphere stuff, will let me have it. You even though it saying? seems like the scene is Thanks, over, Waka. it may or may not be. I don't remember. You can use the R button to zoom in if you want. But basically, I hang around for quite a while after the scene has apparently played out. See, now Waka is going to walk back into the hut. I don't know if you have to wait this long, but I'm going to anyway because the game absolutely is relentless when it comes to watching all of these scenes to get your percentage points. Once you're done, hit the square button to cancel out. Next place we want to check is Kilika. This is a small section of the, uh, the stuff, and this one isn't so bad. The other parts, not so much. Wait a minute, why is the comms here moving? Donna's house. Footstep. Is Donna vlogging? Donna's vlogging. Well, that's Killica Port for you. From the moment Nuge disappeared, everyone's been running around in circles. Just look at them. No one knows what to do without someone barking orders at them. They've already started looking for a new leader. In fact, they even asked me, figured a former summoner would make a perfect leader for the town. Why don't you? Too busy looking after myself, dear. Of course, I'll do what I can to keep things from getting too far out of hand, but until Nuge gets back, things are not going to be the same. Anything else to say? Like I said, the thing with these is sometimes people will stop talking and then wait far too long and you have to like zoom in on them to get them to start talking again. And you may, st you know, leave the uh, scene in the middle of it. You don't get your percentage point. So I think I waited long enough there. Let's hope. Uh, next one we want to go to is Mushroom Rock. Let's go figure out what uh, what's going on over here. There's a soldier. Guy. Lady Yuna! There the he fiends. is! Actually, we've received some unconfirmed reports of trouble brewing in Bavel. It seems a unit of New Yevon's troops have been gearing up for a raid. With Nuge gone, they're hoping to strike quickly and catch us off guard. But don't worry about us. We won't be so easily trapped. We're planning to launch a preemptive strike before they can attack. As soon as our preparations are complete, we move on Bavel. But you're not even sure they're planning an attack, are you? In war, victory favors the bold. I must be off. Farewell. Oh boy, World War. What would it be? I'm not sure of the history of Spira, other than, you know, thousand years of sin. Now I think he's gone. I think in one of the scenes he like runs back or something like that. I don't think he's coming back though. One of the things to kind of note and kind of to pay attention for in these scenes is when the music raises back up, it always lowers when people are talking. When it raises back up, usually you're pretty close to the end of the scene or at the end of the particular scene that you're watching. Though sometimes if you zoom in, it'll go, uh, the volume will go back down and people will start talking again. So you can't just use that. Uh, next, we want to go to Bavel.
Now, you do have to, I think, move the camera around. I think it's is it back here. Zoom in or move around or ah, there we go. You have to move the camera a lot what for this doing? one. Well, for one, I'm running reconnaissance on New Yevon. The Praetor's gone. Fiends are on the loose. New Yevon is upside down. Fortunately, security is lax, so even Youth League members like me can walk around in the open. You there, what are you doing? <laughs> Took them long enough. So long. Okay, well, there goes the comm sphere. Uh, let's see here. So we got you. That's all we have to do for now. Uh, there will definitely be a lot more of this before the end. And next thing we want to do. Want to check the comm sphere? No. We want to check the treasure spheres. We got a couple of them. Uh, let's see. Was it this one? Yeah. Let's go take a look at this one. Back here. Ammo! Again. I'm out! This is it. Don't give up! Me? Now what? After you. Scared? Bang! Why did he just say bang? You damn shaky, shaky cam, I can't figure out what the hell you're you. doing. Nuge, word has it, you're searching for a place to die. You serious? It's harder than it sounds. Ruck and Newick. You were ready to give up back there, ready to die. Very perceptive. You'll be a legend among recorders. You're a legend yourself. The Crusaders won't soon forget Nuge the Undying. So why? It's my life to throw away. Nuge! Hey! Hmm. Interesting. Let's see where this goes. What do you make of this Operation Meehan? With a weapon like that, it's gotta work, right? <laughs> it's that powerful? No. A machina that can topple sin. Wow, that's a little scary. Machina this, machina that. There's nothing to worry about if you use them right. So, once we get sin, the calm will come. Got anything exciting planned? <laughs> Hadn't really thought about it. That sounds dull. <laughs> First, he wants to drop dead. Now he's looking for excitement. Guess we'd better think of something fun to keep Nuge entertained, huh? Brats. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you join us? There, of course, uh, Barely, of course, was talking to Pain there, talking directly into the camera, which, of course, she's holding. All right, so we've done those two. Watch those two. The next thing is we should talk to Buddy. Uh, is there anybody else I can talk to? I don't really want to talk to uh, Brother. Looks like Nuge and Berli still haven't come back. And now Gipple's vanished too. Spirit's three leading big shots have all gone AWOL. If I was one of their followers, I'd be pretty worried and scared. Tension between the two groups is getting volatile. It won't be long before things get very ugly. And Vegnagun's on the loose. You can bet Shuyan's controlling that thing. I wonder if Gipple and the others are trying to destroy it. Who knows? You heard what Barilai said. Vegnagun activates when it senses hostility. If they try to get near it, it's likely to become even more dangerous. Oh, nothing makes sense anymore. I mean, just what the heck are we supposed to do? Nuge spoke to me on the far plane. He told me to take care of things topside. As if it were the simplest thing to do, really. And everything was going so well. At least, that's what I thought. I changed my mind. I want to do something. Nuge asked me to help, and that's what I'll do. 
Whack! Drag kick drag you na drink. All righty! Let's smash that action figure. We'll risk our lives and protect Spira from Technogun. No, I think there has to be something we can do besides fighting. It's a JRPG. Like what? With its leaders gone, Spira's falling apart. Maybe we can bring people back together. Yeah, yeah! Great idea there, Uni! This is so sounding like, pretty stupid! Huh? Sing campfire songs? Oh! That is it! All of Spira will be the captive of Yuna singing and dancing! I knew it sounded Great stupid. Idea. <laughs> They're agreeing again. Uh oh. I can handle the techie stuff. H hang on! I know, I know! I bet Toby would help! Where is he now? The moon flow. Where he's Goals. always been. Move on! I began this journey hoping to find you, but I know now that may never happen. Still, I will keep walking these roads. I have to find where they connect. I have to see for myself. Would you like to check the comm spheres? The sphere waves keep pouring in. I'm going to kill you. Now that we've talked to Buddy. To pain. When you fought sin, everyone came together and sang the hymn of the faith. Remember? I sang too. At the time, my friends were scattered and I was alone. But during the hymn, for just a little while, I felt connected again. Okay. If I've done everything correctly, and I've read everything correctly, that should be a full 63 percentage points. Big money! Booyah! Okay, I haven't screwed anything up yet. I was scared when I was looking at the uh, the not the completion percentage on the comm series and it was saying 61. I was like, I've only got like two scenes more to go. I guess they gave me more percentage points or something. I don't know. Anyway, assuming we've done everything correctly, we should have 63 percentage points now. There is very little to do in chapter four as far as, you know, what we've been able to do in previous chapters. It's pretty much main plot points and comm spheres. We do not get free reign to travel everywhere. And if you're missing out on uh, certain things that you need to do, like PR mission, you only can do Moonflow and there's very few people in the Moonflow. So be very kind of aware that if you haven't been doing it, you may want to load up your previous file on chapter three and go do that. But like I said, that's all for this one. Next time, Calm Spheres. And it sucks. You'll see why. It's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.